Why is it so important for this team? Uh, well, we have two seniors, junior, and then six underclassmen. Um, you know, I, I think that's what's important. Uh, practices have been great. Obviously, there were 18, ga 18 days in between our last game and then our game with Butler, but the game reps, right? Like getting getting experience, winning tournament games, getting the opportunity to win a tournament game. Uh, can't replace it. For those seniors to have a chance to go back and play out on that court and, and their season on Mackey with a win, how special is that for them? Um, hopefully that's the case. Um, you know, we talked a little bit about it. I think both, before the tournament started, both of them were ready just to play all of our games on the road. Um, you know, they talked like, hey, I had my senior day. I played my last game. and. You know, obviously appreciate the administration and, and everybody here putting a bid in for us to, to be able to play and not be on a bus for seven hours to Pittsburgh um, right now. But uh, talk to Abby and JT, like they deserve an opportunity to win their last game. And, uh, hopefully that can, on Mackey, and hopefully we can make that happen. I know you mentioned the reps for the underclassmen. What have you seen from them? Obviously this tournament experience, prepping for a team really quickly, yeah. traveling a little bit. Yeah. Uh, what have you seen in, in, in their development these last few days? Yes, yeah, maturity. Uh, when we played Butler, obviously we, we drove down day up. We had never done that. Uh, to be able to get off the bus, get some shots up, and then uh, you know, follow through the game. We haven't played in 18 days for them to come out and execute. Uh, for the most part, what we were trying to do was, was good to see. And then, you know, the quick turnaround, our, our walkthrough yesterday, practice today, um, and then uh, playing a really good Duquesne team tomorrow. So uh, hopefully, you know, we'll see a lot of good things. What do you know about Duquesne? <laughs> uh, man, as much as I can in the last, what, 36 <laughs> hours, whatever it was, uh, whatever it has been. Um, you know, we got two big dominant posts inside. One really stretches it to the three. A lot of dribble drive offense, a lot of ball screens, um, and a slot and a high ball and ball. Um, they run some horn stuff. Uh, they run some some elbow chin looks that we've guarded in the past. Um, lightning fast guard, uh, faster than spider. You'll, you'll see it. Um, and then they got a couple kids who can who can shoot it. Um, you know, I think they'll probably tell you they were a little fortunate to, to get out of their, their last game. They were down eight with about 48 seconds to go and uh, took the game to overtime. So. Um, some fifth years, some, some older players, some experienced guards, um, and in the post as well. So someone that's going to be hungry to, to come in here and, and try to beat a Big Ten team. Are, are any of their players comparable to what you've, you've seen this year from an individual standpoint? You know, I, I think if you if, if you kind of can mash like Wisconsin and Michigan State together, I, I kind of feel like that's, that's kind of where they are. Um, they've got a post not quite as dominant as Sarah Williams, but has the ability to, you know, between their starting big and their backup big, um, you know, they've, they've got the ability to, to kind of put a game together like Sarah Williams. Um, the way they push pace like Michigan State and in the half court very similar to Wisconsin in their actions. Um, in terms of personnel, um, McConnell is actually a, a really good point guard, really heady. Um, you know, I, I don't know if I can just think of somebody right off mm -hmm. the top of my head, but uh, Excuse me. They, I mean, I think McConnell, her brother is T.J. McConnell, that plays for the Pacers, right? So, um, you know, very heady and uh, you know, uh, smart point guard out there. Uh, well, coach has been there for a long time. Um, you know, they've been around around each other. So uh, excited to get the opportunity. How does this coaching experience compare to you know some of the other tournaments you've done in in the past? Um, I think this one is just different because the the unknown of what day you're playing, where you're playing, you know, that's that's the only thing that's been different. Other than that, it's just it's just a basketball game. Um, you know, it's it's 40 minutes, hopefully no overtime, unless we need it and they don't. Um, you know, it's just, it's an opportunity for us to, to keep you in better. It's a, you know, opportunity for, for me, Mark and Alex and, and Kelly to grow as a staff in close games too. Like, you know, my first year here, it was, you know, me, Alex, Beth, Michael, didn't mesh all the time. Um, and then, you know, same thing. I think Mark and Kelly are still learning Alex and me and how we all flow. And so it's, it's, been, a, it's been good opportunities for us in practice and in game situations, just like it has been for our young kids. You saw the rainbow hook from, from MA. Uh, you mentioned maturity with this group of underclassmen. What's something else that you feel like has really helped as far as their growth and where they've grown, you feel? Yeah, the, I think there's just a, a joy to keep playing, playing basketball right now. Um, I think they love being around each other. Um, you know, you can see it in the way, you know, JT and Jayla connect on and off the floor. Um, you know, Jayla wants to keep playing with Janae as long as possible. Uh, same thing with Abby, just the way they, they lead our team and then having Caitlin, Caitlin around. Um, even though she's not playing, you know, since she's been recovering from surgery, she's been around and just our leadership has been awesome for us. Do your, 
Do your freshmen understand the value of these minutes? I mean, they're in the moment, so sometimes you don't realize it, but yeah. do you get a sense that they understand what this means and what it can mean in the future for them? Um, they're probably a little too naive to think about that <laughs> right now. And, and something we just, hey, we're just going out here trying to win basketball games. Right. Um, uh, but I think they're they're locked into to, to trying to win the next game, um, you know. And, and we talk about it like, let's just keep in using these these days to, to get better. Um, if not, we'd be you know just going to class, not doing a whole lot of anything. But uh, you know, I, I think you know there's been some conversations amongst them um, outside of us. Like Kansas won the WNIT last year, and they're in a big tournament this year, right? Like. What's this, you know, is this a stepping stone the way it was for Indiana, the way it was for Michigan? Can we kind of replicate um, the success that this tournament has had for other programs? There's plenty of examples There's out there. There's plenty of examples <laughs> out there. But right now our, our job is to find a way to beat the game. For you to see Neela Reynolds come out and just shoot Fun. the three the way that she that she did, I mean, yeah. Yeah, where, where's it? Been? No, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm just no, asking. No, um, it, it was great. Uh, you know, MA got doubled. She called a skip, knocked it down. Uh, you know, I think that's what these 18 days, of, you know, they, these three weeks have done for us. It, it's given us an opportunity to really work on skill um, and get more reps shooting. Um, sometimes lost in the grind of a Big Ten season when you don't, you know, it's you're playing every two days. It's more of a scout. You know, it's not so much skill development. Having those times to Having those days where we were able to stack days and, and get better individually and, and as a team, um, I think it really showed out for Mila. Thanks. Yep, thank you.